Actor and comedian Rob Schneider no longer believes that cancel culture is a significant issue, despite recently facing backlash for telling anti-trans and anti-vax jokes at a recent gig. The 60-year-old grown-ups actor was spotted walking through the streets with a drink in hand when the New York Post caught up with him just before heading out with a group of friends. When asked what he thinks of cancel culture, he told the cameraman, it's over. On June 1st, Schneider took the stage at the Hospitals of Regina Foundation fundraiser in Canada, but his routine was met with widespread disapproval and boos from the audience. According to Page Six, attendees were upset with Schneider's material allegedly focused on topics related to the LGBTQ community and vaccines. Tynan Allen, a guest at the event, shared, everyone in the room was groaning, saying, what is going on? Like, whispering to themselves. Not a single laugh at times. It was just very apparent how uncomfortable everyone felt and how unacceptable the things he was talking about were, Allen continued. The hospital later issued a statement denouncing Schneider's performance, stating that the content of his set did not align with their values. While we recognize that in a free and democratic society, individuals are entitled to their views and opinions and that comedy is intended to be edgy, the content, positions and opinions expressed during Mr. Schneider's set do not align with the values of our foundation and team, the Regina Foundation said in a statement. An unconditional apology was offered right after to our guests and our community, the organization added. We reiterate this sincere and unconditional apology today, for any offense caused by Mr. Schneider's recent comedy set, at the Four Seasons Ball. Several audience members began walking out of the fundraiser until the Jack and Jill actor was escorted out. Despite the criticism, Schneider seemed undeterred by the incident. Schneider recently denied reports that he was cut off during a performance at a high-profile Republican holiday gala late last year, during which he allegedly made racist jokes about Asian people in Korean W. houses. Politico reported that the frequent Adam Sandler collaborator was cut off after 10 minutes during what was supposed to be a 30-minute set at the Waldorf Astoria and that Republican Sen. Cindy Hyde-Smith of Mississippi chose to leave because she found Schneider's routine gross and vulgar. Nobody removed me from stage. Somebody waved to me at the 50-minute mark, Schneider told TMZ. I'm not changing my material or apologizing for my jokes to anybody. Enough with this woke bulls, America's sick of it.